So, ladies and gentlemen, where I left off at was we talked about finding the midpoint of the formula. And remember, the midpoint was pretty much that central distance, right? So now what we're going to do for our distance is now we want to find actually what is the distance between these two points. Well, to find the distance, what we need to do is we're only given x and y coordinates. Yes? Why are we finding it from the midpoint and not We're not finding it from the, thank you. Sorry. So we need to find the distance between these two points. So to find the distance, we know we have an x and a y coordinate, right? Now, can we, is it possible for us to find the distance between the two x coordinates? Can we find the distance between the two x coordinates? No. OK. So if I say between 4 and 8, we know how to find the midpoint. Could I say what is the distance? That looks like a phone. Could I find out what is the distance between these two points? Yeah, what's the distance? 2, 4. 4 to 8 is going to be 4, right? And there's a simple way, ladies and gentlemen, to do this. If I say this is x1 and this is x2, all we need to do to find the distance is subtract 8 minus 4 gives us the distance. Yes? So in this general term, if I have x2 minus x1, what I'm going to do, actually, let's just do it first. Let's so to find this, if I find the difference x, so I do x2 minus x1. That tells me the difference or the distance between the two 2x two values. And then is it possible for me to find the distance between the two y values? No? I can't? If I have a number line, and I have one point is here, and one point's there, and I say that's 5 and that's 2, do you know how to find the distance between those two points? It's 3, right? 5 minus 2. So the difference between the two y values could be y2 minus y1. Yes? That is, do you guys agree? We can, find the dis we can find the distance between these two. You guys can just count on the graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? 1, 2. All right? You can easily just count on the graph, but if you don't have a graph, you can find the, different, the, distance, the difference between them just by subtracting the two values. The subtracting the two values is going to give you the difference. Now, here's where it comes up. What does this remind you guys of? Pythagorean theorem. And what Pythagorean theorem says, if you have a squared plus b squared, that equals c squared. Your leg of a triangle plus the leg of another triangle, as long as it's a right triangle, equals the distance of, of your c, of your c, your hypotenuse. What are we trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out what c squared is, right? So we could say that the difference of the x's, which is this, squared, plus the difference of your y's, squared, equals your distance squared. But we're not trying to find the distance squared. We're trying to find the distance. So I take the square root of both sides. So we say d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right? So now we have the formula how it's made. So how are we going to apply it? Well, for these two points, we simply just plug in what is x1, what is x2? What is y1, what's y2? So we say the distance for these points, x1 is negative, um, x2 is 3, minus x1, which is a negative 6, squared, plus y2, which is 4, minus y1, which is 2, squared. Right? So now once we know the formula, we can just plug in x1 and x2, and y1 and y2. So 3 minus a negative 6 is going to be 9. 9 squared plus 4 minus 2 is 4, which is 4 squared. I'm uh, sorry, 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So therefore, I have d equals 81 equals what? The square root of 85? <coughs> okay. And so then I just simplify it to find the decimal approximation, and that is going to be your distance between the two points. You have to be able to find that formula. Okay? So we're going to use this. We're going to use this to help us with our on our new homework. Yes, exactly. We have to know. We have to make sure we understand and can apply our midpoint and our distance formula. Okay. So you guys ready to get?